In August 1969, when troops were first deployed on the streets of Northern Ireland, everyone thought the operation would last just a few weeks, but it was not to be. The violent clashes between Catholics and Protestants escalated, and the troubles, as they became known, engulfed Northern Ireland. At its height, 27,000 soldiers were stationed at around 100 locations, and over the 38 years, 763 military personnel were killed. Hello everyone and welcome to Era Military Collectibles. So today's video we are in the north and we are at Honor Up Honor Military Museum, Margaret Hill with Gary Hall and what we're doing is we're just doing a video on his little museum. It's a privately run museum but you can get uh, Gary to open it up for special occasions or just school groups or tours or if you're in the area and you want to come and call in. Um, he has a Facebook page. Yep, Honor Up Honor Military Museum and there is a phone number on that but do you want to give the phone number yeah, it's 07548 428522 right so that's if you ever want to get in contact with this museum um i will be doing some shots and some videos of the stuff that's around here um so you can have a look for yourself and what we're going to do now next is we're going to look at the rarest and probably the toughest item to get that is in this collection this here, I would imagine John would be the rarest item in our museum here. Uh, it's obviously the very first RUC shield. This was used, and you can see it being used in documentaries in 1969 in the Battle of the Bogside. It was also used by the army, we would have seen it in green. But this one here was actually an RUC one. And this one was actually found and picked up in the street in Uri. For our rare items in here, John, would be the Barnick Regulations. This is an original that came from a station within Belfast and as you can see here it's had amendments made to it at different points where they've uh, updated different things and whatever on it you know and uh, to get it like that still on the original board and everything else it's 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 hard to find thank you to your brother this is Sierra Zero ready to check over Bestbrook Mill and soldiers from the Cheshire Regiment prepare for a final patrol to be mounted from the base since the mid-1990s, the Army's work has gradually been scaled down. The ceasefires, the peace process, the beginning of power sharing, it all means there is no longer a need for Operation Banner. The role of Besbrook Mill for the British Army has been crucial in the last 25 to 30 years. Uh, it has provided the main staging post for most of the operations in South Armagh against terrorism during that time. The watchtowers and guard posts long associated with Operation Banner are now being resigned to history. In the future, just 5,000 troops will be based in Northern Ireland, but instead of patrolling the streets, they'll use their bases like any others in the UK, as a home location, before going on exercise or operations, or for training. Right, so that's it. That's a brief look at the museum. Thanks for Gary for having us here. Um, Gary, do you want to say anything else? Not a problem, John. It's great having you down. It was great to see you again, so it was. Uh, if you're down in the next snack of the woods, if you'd like to pop in, see the museum, uh, we do have a wee memorial garden here as well, so we do. And we have the Northern Ireland Veterans Association's uh, Roll of Honour folders within the main building, and they can be viewed at any time as well. 
So that's it guys, if you're in this neck of the woods, pop in, say hello to Gary and everything and say hello. Thanks for watching.